Well, hey, what's going on, everybody, and welcome back to another five minute preview here on the channel. It's match day 12, um, and Carl, I'll take on our sort of voodoo team, Harrogate at Town. Of course, we don't have the best record against Harrogate in the past, only beating them once. I believe, in our entire history. Um, but Carlisle, again, really needing um, to start playing some good football and start picking up some points before it is getting deep in the season. Um, and it's not going to be an easy task this weekend against Harrogate, even with um, our ticket deal, which is big gate for Harrogate, um, I believe. Um, and tickets are only a tenner for adults, £5 for under 18s. And three for under seven. So, I think they're looking for about AK in the ground. But we'll meet our opposition then in Harrogate Town, which were founded in 1914. Their current manager is Simon Weaver. I think he's been there since about 1914, to be honest. And their stadium is Weatherly Road, but for sponsorship reasons, is the Exercise Stadium, which holds 5,000 capacity. It's a 218-mile round trip which will take around four hours and two minutes in the car. So safe travel to any Havoga fans coming up to Cumbria this weekend. Not a bad distance to be travelling from the away day. Looking at the previous five games then, as you can see, Carlisle sit bottom of the league with one draw and four defeats in their previous five. A 3-2 against Grimsby, a 2-0 defeat against Notts County, 0-0 draw against Colchester, 2-0 against Wigan, who are our FA Cup opponents, and that 4-0 battering at the weekend down at Wimbledon. Harrogate then had a 1-0 home win against Newport at the weekend, a 1-0 defeat in the EFL Cup against Crewe, a 0-0 draw against Swindon, a 5-1 battering at the hands of MK Dons, and that was Mike Williams' successes first game in charge of MK Dons, and then a 2-1 win in the Yorkshire Derby against Bradford. But last time we met then was actually in the Bristol Street Motors Cup, where we won 2-0, Jordan Gibson with both our goals, in front of a whopping 716 fans at Brunton Park on a cold and Tuesday night in November. Carlisle getting a 2 0 victory in a game where I don't think anyone cared. I think we were already out of the cup, to be honest. Um, but uh, good to get a win, I guess. Um, it was one of the very few wins we got in that beautiful home shirt there. But looking at my Carlisle match day 11, and I went completely different. I went with a 4 2 2 2. 4 triple 2. We have Harry Lewis in goal, Archie Davis. Terrell Thomas, if he's back um, from international duty, of course. Sam Lavelle, Cameron Harper. I put Callum Guy at centre defensive midfield alongside Harrison Neal. Now, that's only if Callum Guy is fit to play 90 minutes or 60 minutes or whatever. Um, of course, if he's not fully fit yet, do, don't risk him. Pull him on the bench. Uh, I've then got Dominic Sedai and Harrison Biggins in attacking midfield roles with um, Luke Armstrong and Charlie White. Um, up front is what I'm going with. Just trying to move away really from the five back, which didn't work under Paul Simpson. It didn't work last season, and it's not working at the moment under Mike Williamson either. And um, so I'm just looking to try and play that. I th I think as well a four triple two. The midfield's quite compact, it, but it's also quite wide as well. So you've got the options to play your triangular passes and play your nice football that Mike Williamson wants to play, but. That's just my opinion, we'll see on the thing. And there is Carlisle United in the bottom of the league there. Not a nice sight, is it? But my match today predictions now, I've got Bromley 2, um, Tramia 2, Colchester 2, Cheltenham 0, Accrington 1, Bower 3, Morecambe 0, MK Dons 1. Notts County 2, AFC Wimbledon 0, Port Vale 3, Fleetwood 2, Bradford 2, Gilligan 2, Newport 1, Chesterfield 1, Carlisle 0, Harrogate 2, Crew nil, Salford nil, Swindon one, Doncaster two, and Grimsby one, Walsall nil. That is right. I went with a two nil for Harrogate. Um, unfortunately, as I sort of said in my AAC Wimbledon review, um, I am struggling to find an answer for Carlisle at the current moment in time. I think Harrogate are a decent team. I think they've really solidified themselves as sort of a mid table. Um, League two size, and I I think that they'll cause us problems at the weekend. To be perfectly honest, and unfortunately, um, I just as I say, I don't have the answer for Carlisle at the minute. We we desperately need to get a run of form going, um, that isn't a run of defeats, and getting that confidence boosted, because it, it it's it's tough at the minute. It really is, um. And unfortunately, I, I as I say, I don't I don't have the answer, and I, I I'm not really sure where the goals and where the victories are coming from. But 
that's my prediction. What's your prediction? Let me know in the comments down below. Who would you put in your match day 18 as well? Your starting 11. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching this video, though. I have been C4, and I'll see you in the next one. It's gotta go somewhere.